so that delays in path or the time delay is basically this time minus t1 minus t2 so t1 minus t2 is the difference in the time taken by the two light waves and if i multiply this time with velocity of the light that is c i'll get the path difference so my path difference will be what it is basically 2d mu sec theta because d by cos theta is d sec theta minus 2d tan theta mu sin theta if you solve this if you simplify this you will get 2 mu d cos theta so this is my delta x now this delta x is equal, should be equal to n plus half lambda for constructive interference and this should be equal to n lambda for destructive interference so you see that when we have a thin thin film of some substance present in a medium i get a interference pattern and the con the condition for constructive interference and diffractive destructive interference is this okay okay so now let's take the case of oil film and let's stay understand why the colors change if I, when i keep viewing the film from different angles and different distances the thin film of the oil behaves as a thin film as we have discussed in this case so we have an interference pattern in case of thin film of oil now when you keep looking the thin film from different distances and from different angles what happens is the path distance covered by both the light waves keep varying so when the path distance covered by both the light waves keep varying what happens is the corresponding path difference between the two light waves for a particular point is such that for some lambda we get a constructive interference pattern for some lambda we get a destructive interference pattern for example let's say i'm here and for a viewing angle of this theta i'm viewing this film from here let's say that for a particular wavelength lambda i get constructive interference and for a particular wavelength lambda 2 i get destructive interference so at this point i'll be able to see only colors with wavelength lambda 1 now let's say i change my viewing angle to this theta 2 now at this angle theta 2 what will happen is for some light waves the path difference will be such that lambda 1 now has destructive interference lambda 2 has in constructive interference so now we will see the color corresponding to lambda 2 now let's say i change my viewing angle to viewing angle to theta 3 now what will happen now let's see it, it happens that the path difference for lambda 1 comes out to be equal to a multiple of n plus half lambda or we have constructive interference at this point so again we will get colors corresponding to lambda 1 and we won't get colors corresponding to lambda 2 so when i keep viewing my viewing angle what happens is the condition for constructive like some wave wavelengths fulfill the condition for constructive interference and the wavelengths which fulfill the conditions for constructive interference are can be viewed at this point okay okay fine now so this was the case when we had the same medium on this two sides now let's say that we have three different medium and let's understand what happens see the delta x remains same what will change now is that if we have three different medium and this is a film in between let's say medium 1 and medium 2 now what will happen is that lambda 2 is different so del x remains same the only change is because of del so source if n2 is greater than n1 let's say this is the condition case n2 is greater than n1 and n2 is less than n3 so at this surface this is denser this is rarer so this there is a phase change of pi at this surface this is again denser and this is rarer medium so there's there's again a phase change of pi so both the both this two light waves undergo a phase change of pi so the net phase, uh, change in del phi source is zero because both have undergone a phase change of pi so when we have a setup like this this is zero and the construct the condition for constructive interference remains k lambda condition of destructive inter interference remains k plus half lambda okay 
now if we have a case like n1 is greater than n1 is less than n2 and n2 is greater than n3 that is means we have a rarer medium here then this undergoes a phase change of pi this undergoes no phase change because this is a rarer medium compared to this medium so in that case we have a condition for constructive interference interchange that is we get a constructive interference for k plus half lambda and we get a destructive interference for k lambda okay similarly the different colors we which we observe in case of a peacock is because of interference the surface of the peacock skin have different layers or it is made up of a multi layered structure it has different layers and these different layers behave as thin films and since they are thin films there is interference occurring because of this thin films and that is the reason why we see different colors when we view the peacock from different angles sometimes we see a greenish pattern sometimes we see a bluish pattern this is the result of interference occurring due to thin films it is not occurring because of pigments present on the surface of the skin of the peacock okay so now let's move on to solve some problems in interference so we take the first problem 